Hi, today we're going to be uh, working in uh, After Effects. We're going to um, recreate the uh, title sequence that you are seeing probably right now uh, that I use on all my tutorials. If you're not familiar with After Effects, After Effects is an Adobe product. It's I've always uh, called it the Photoshop for video. I think that could be fairly accurate. Um, I'll do a tutorial on um, the basics of After Effects a little bit later on down the road. This one's just to show some uh, some features. We've got a new uh, document here or project and we're gonna make a new composition and we'll call this title sequence. We'll choose the HD 720 preset, which is what uh, my tutorials are usually set at. Um, the duration, we'll keep that at 10 seconds. And we'll say OK. Basically, a composition is a new, exactly what it says, it's a composition. We've got a timeline down here, um, and we'll be adding layers to this uh, timeline or items and let's go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is import some assets that I've already created so what we can do is simply double click here in this area or we could right click and say import file and we go into our folder here and there's these two files the first one is uh, the background uh, gradient which I originally created for my Photoshop tutorials and I'll show you how to change the color of this to match the uh, After Effects colors. And this logo here is the logo for the digital craft. So we'll hold down Control and select both of these. And we'll say Open. Let's take this background JPEG and drag and drop it down here into our title sequence. We'll go ahead and lock that layer for now so we can't select it. And now we'll take our logo and we'll drag it on there into the uh, sequence above the background. Now the logo is slightly larger than um, the uh, area here. So what we can do is expand this here and expand the transform. And we'll just adjust our scale here and let's just drag it until it's down to where we're comfortable. All right, now it's kind of at a manageable state here. We can now pull on these uh, anchor points here. And while we do it, we'll hold down shift to constrain proportions. And that looks about right. And now let's take it and drag it over here in this corner. Now in the later tutorials, I spruced up the title card a little bit by using this logo a second time and kind of hiding it in the background there. So let's go ahead and we'll select this logo here from the sequence. And we'll go ahead and copy it, Control C, and Control V for paste. And it's gonna make a copy of this. Now let's go in here and go to our transform and let's bring the scale back up, we'll say 70. And we're going to drag this layer I'm not positive really where I had it in the other uh, title sequence um, now let's take this layer and we'll just rename it by right clicking and choosing rename call it logo background and let's drag this underneath the uh, original logo and let's go ahead and lock the original logo. Now let's go in and expand this here. And we'll turn the opacity down substantially. Let's say 25. Now, uh, just like in Photoshop, we have um, layer styles. And you can get there by right clicking on your layer and coming up here and we're going to choose inner shadow 
and now that we have chosen that we have more options down here for our layer styles so let's go ahead and expand the inner shadow here and we're gonna make the size of our inner shadow a little bigger let's go 10 and the distance will go up a little bit and let's turn our opacity down just a tad there we go alright so let's go ahead and collapse these options here and let's move this to an area where we we like alright so let's go ahead and collapse all that and lock the layer now what we need to do is we're going to we're going to want to get this uh, color to change here and we could always go into Photoshop and make a new document, but why why do that? We can come in here and let's go to layer up at the top and say new adjustment layer. And this is the same concept as an adjustment layer in Photoshop. So for really it's just a blank layer and what we can do is apply effects to it. So we'll right click We'll go to Effect, and we'll go to Color Correction, and come down here to Hue and Saturation. And now here on our right, we'll see our Hue and Saturation control. Um, for this, we're just going to go ahead and colorize, and we're going to adjust the color value until we get where we want. And After Effects is kind of a purple-gray, so let's go ahead and drop the saturation down a little bit. And go ahead and lock this layer. And let's unlock our logo background and maybe... Yeah, that's good for now. Alright, now let's go ahead and work on some text. We'll come up here to our text tool. And just click anywhere. And we're going to go ahead and put in our title. And that's what we'll call it. And let's go ahead and position this where we want it. Um, let's change the text to black. Adjust the uh, paragraph settings. We're going to align this to the left. And then move it back to where we want it. And let's make the uh, size larger here. 60. That'll work. Pretty sure I put a drop shadow on it. So let's right click. And we'll say effect. Excuse me. Sorry, we'll go to layer styles. And choose drop shadow. And we'll come down here. And expand the drop shadow options. And we'll make the size a little larger. And I'm comfortable with that. Actually, I'm going to take this uh, title here and change it. We're going to call this Basics. And we're going to go ahead and copy this layer here. So let's collapse all these options here and select this layer and copy and paste. Alright, so we have a new layer here. We'll lock the first one. And we're just going to drag it down while holding Shift to keep it in line with everything. And let's go ahead and scale it, and we'll just make it a little smaller here. And while holding down Shift to constrain the proportions. And now we're going to change this. And that's good. Maybe we'll bring it up here just a little bit. And I'm doing this with the arrow keys. Now let's go ahead and copy that text and paste it. We'll go ahead and lock the previous one. And we'll drag this down here to the corner. And let's change our align to right. And drag this over here. Let's lower the text to about 48. And we're going to change this to my name. Let's go ahead and move this up a little bit. And we're going to copy-paste, lock the 
the first layer, drag this one down, and put in my web address. And we're going to change the size maybe down to 30. And we're going to bring this down a little bit. And we'll go ahead and select both of these by holding down shift. And we'll bring them up a little bit. Uh, another thing I noticed was this, that I had my logo um, a little smaller than this. So we'll go ahead and make this smaller. And we're going to go ahead and copy this alanquant.com text. And then paste it. Lock the one before it. And drag this over here. And change the align to center. And we're going to change this text to the digital craft. Let's grab our logo and place it above the domain name. We're going to grab our logo background image and move it over just a little bit. And that's the gist of it. Uh, we could get really in detail here, but I kind of wanted to make this a, just a one-part tutorial. Um, keep an eye out. We're going to make some more tutorials and After Effects here soon. Thank you.